All right, guys, I'm super excited to share this information with you. So today we're going to be kind of stemming off of last week's video where we downloaded the Catalina Beta 8 installer, the Mac OS 1015 installer to play with. And now this week we want to create a partition or a new APFS volume so that we can install it on there and do our testing on there instead of on our main machine. I'm going to walk through both the geeky and the non-geeky way of installing the Mac OS and I hope you love this stuff man because this is uh, this is what it's about you know when you get a chance to see the non-geeky way and then the geeky way you know give it a shot if you're not into doing the the command line stuff just you know hang in there get it done try to knock it out and uh, unleash that geek all right, so check this out. So we've got the, the Catalina Beta right here, right? So I'm gonna go through the normal way of creating a new partition and just with disk utility. So I'm gonna open up disk utility. And I'm gonna use command spacebar. Once I got disk utility open, I'm gonna select the hard drive, the Macintosh hard drive on the left hand side and I'm gonna click partition. Once I click partition, you're going to see a window that pops up and it's going to tell you about APFS volumes and that they share the container. So whatever volume we create right here, it's going to share this 250 gigs with the Macintosh HD and these other internal volumes that are already created, right? So that's totally fine and that's what we want to do we want it to be able to expand the more we put on that drive it just uses it we don't have to specify a size it's really convenient so I'm gonna click add volume and I'm just gonna call this our Catalina disk utility I'll just do disk Catalina disk and it'll be our Catalina volume for this portion so I'm gonna click add and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it pop up right on our desktop and now I've got this new volume in which I can install this Mac OS installer so let's just run through this real quick I'm gonna double click the Mac OS installer it says do you want to install I do I click a continue and then agree and then agree again right here I want to click show all disk and then if I were going to install right now I would select this Catalina disk click install and what would happen is it take a few minutes before it rebooted but then once it rebooted it would start the installation of Catalina Beta 8 onto that Catalina disk that I created with disk utility. I don't want to do it that way. I actually want to do it from the command line, so I don't want to run this right now. It's just too easy. We got to do it the geeky way. All right, so we're going to quit this and we're going to go back over to disk utility. We're going to select that disk that we just created and I'm going to click minus. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need it. I'm going to click done and what we're going to do now is we're going to do the command line way. We're going to create the partition or the volume, APFS volume, from the command line. So let's check this out and we're going to do command spacebar. We're going to open up terminal, hit the plus sign a couple times so you guys can see this. All right. And then we are going to create so first off we need to grab a little bit of information about where that Macintosh HD volume is sitting this volume is sitting in a container and we need to find that information so that we can create another volume in that same container so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do disk util oh, Sorry. Disk util. 
space list. Hit enter. And we're gonna stretch this out a little bit. And we're gonna find the Macintosh HD. Macintosh HD is right here, right? And we, we're looking for the container identifier. So we're gonna go up, we've got the APFS container right here, and we've got disk one. So we wanna highlight that, command C to copy it. And now we're gonna do disk util space APFS space ADD, both, all lowercase, capital V, volume, space, APF, oh, nope. And right here is where uh, <coughs> you want to add that disk one. So you're gonna put the disk one, and then you're gonna type in a capital APFS, right? And then you're gonna give it a name. And we're gonna call this one Let's call it Catalina Beta 8. All right, so we're gonna do Catalina Beta 8. And hit return. So that one line allowed me to create that disk, that volume, very easily, right? Um, so now that we've got that volume created, what we can do is we could go and double click that OS installer, right? Where's that guy? Back over here. We could double click this to install it, but no, that's that's not the way we want to do it. So we drag this guy in onto the terminal application, so then it drags the path to it. The the binary or the application that we want to run is called start OS install and it's on the inside of this Catalina beta app right that we would normally you know double click and install so we're gonna do a tab and it's gonna create that we're gonna hit a tab one more time and it's gonna autofill contents and then we're gonna have to type a resources hit tab and then start and just hit tab and it'll finish it so start OS install is what we're going to use to basically install the Mac OS onto this volume that we've created, this Catalina Beta 8 volume. So what we're going to use is we're going to use dash dash erase install. So this command that I'm typing right here, the, the problem with this command is that Apple didn't include one of the options so I'm actually not even from right here I'm not able to install this Mac OS onto that Catalina 8, uh, beta 8 volume right because right now I can't specify it so what I can do though is I'm gonna show you the command that I would use to wipe you know, basically uh, upgrade my Macintosh HD. Well, actually, I'm erasing an install, so I'm wiping that sucker. So basically, I'd be wiping that Macintosh HD, and then I'm just going to show you this command line. I'm not going to run this one. I'm going to run the next one that we do from the recovery partition. That's the one that I'm going to show you how to actually run. So then we would type in agree to license. So if we don't want, we just type in agree to license. And then we would use, so here's the cool thing, and this is why I wanted to show you this. If, if I were running this and I wanted to wipe my Macintosh HD, and let's say I wanted to automatically enroll it into a, a Mac OS developer beta um, program, I could download the package from Apple include this in the install of Mac OS so when I, it reboots and installs it would automatically enroll me into that program so I can say erase install agree to license and then I would type in dash dash install package oh and I there we go dash dash install package 
in a space and I could just drop that guy right on there if I hit enter right now it's gonna run through wiping my drive installing that that Mac OS Catalina beta app it's going to install that Mac OS developer beta access utility package because I've included that as well but what I want to do now is I want to show you so from the command line I can't run this and install it on that second volume at this point and I'm not sure why I think it might be a bug and I'm gonna contact Apple about it but what I'm what I want to do is I'm gonna hop into the recovery partition so I'm gonna reboot my Mac I'm gonna hold down command R and I'm gonna provide a, um, a few Apple links and some documentation inside the description down below so check that information out as well so um, you can check out those Apple links and there's gonna be some information on recovery partition booting etc and what it can do for you so let's reboot command R on boot if you have a firmware password you're gonna have to enter your password which you should have a firmware password set um, and then what's gonna happen then is we're gonna get in there we're gonna run that one command on this Catalina beta 8 we're gonna install it on this drive right and then we'll reboot and I'll show you how to select between the two operating systems all right one sec I just got to get this set up on boot you want to hold command R or you should look at the recovery partition documentation that I've included all right so from within here we're gonna want to open up a terminal session and you're gonna go up to utilities down the terminal it's right, so now we need to get to that start OS install right so that's where we want to do that install from and onto that drive that we created the Catalina beta 8 so we're gonna actually go and do the disk util again and it looks a little bit different you just have to scroll up and you're gonna see that it's Catalina beta 8 I'm gonna copy that And I'm going to scroll back down. I can hit Command K to clear the screen. And then we're going to start with this OS install. So I need to navigate to the oh, volumes, Macintosh HD, and then applications, install Mac OS Catalina beta. Because mine is sitting in my applications I can hit tab and then type in R resources and then start and just hit tab and now this is where I'm going to be able to type in help or usage dash dash usage but help is easier it's just gonna show me what this can what this can do and if I uh, stretch out the screen a little bit you're gonna see if I had done the help command when I was in the running OS and not in the recovery partition I would not see this dash dash volume which is why we have to do it from the recovery partition this is not in you don't see this available and even when I try running it it just fails so I'm not sure why I can't get that to run when I'm in the OS I was going to reach out to Apple and ask them. But uh, what we can do is we will arrow back up, get rid of that. And we're going to do dash dash volume. And then this is going to be the volumes Catalina Beta 8. And that's the volume we want to install it onto. And we're going to hit dash dash agree 
to license. I'm gonna hit enter. Just tell me if I do not agree with this and don't want to run this, I better hit control C immediately because right now it is preparing and it's going to run on this system and build it out. And then what'll happen, it'll finish the install and then it'll boot to that new Catalina Beta 8 volume with this new OS. Once we get into that OS, I'll show you how to switch back to your old OS so that you can hop back and forth. The, but no, there we go, restarting. All right, so here we are. We're booted into our Catalina Beta 8 system. We can go check this out from the about. Let's set it back to boot to the Macintosh HD. I'm going to open up System Preferences. I'm going to click on Startup Disk. I'm going to click the lock. And I'm going to select the Macintosh HD Mac OS 10.14.6. I'm going to click Restart. And once I click restart here, it's gonna reboot back to that Mac OS. All right, everyone, hopefully you have a lot of fun with this and you're able to get that Catalina testing going on and just playing around, you know? You were able to unleash your inner geek a little bit and uh, do some fun stuff. Um, make sure you get subscribed to the channel Check out those links down below if you need any other assistance around like OS recovery and things like that. So definitely, uh, you know, you guys have an awesome day. And if you found value in that video, smash that like button. And can't wait to see you next time because I'm having a lot of fun with this. Take care. Have an awesome day.